Okay, I wasn't expecting to be making any more videos towards the end of the year except for maybe uh, the last part of my like news resolutions. Uh, stopped by the AD today. Um, I've, suffice to say I've got a good relationship with my AD and uh, I wasn't on the wait list for a Daytona or at least I wasn't an impression that I was. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, was just there to talk about the next watch purchases and so forth and the opportunity came up and uh, I won't go into much detail about exactly what my relationship is with my AD but um, it's it's pretty good yes I've got a pretty good purchase history and, and so forth um, but we're, we're pretty friendly and I, I'm, I'm attentive to um, you know things that a good relationship normally looks like basically um, so I've got uh, two things to unbox today. Uh, we'll kick off with this one and go from there. Okay, so we've got one of uh, these sleeves, very typical for this particular Swiss brand. We have a Tudor, and yes, I was wearing my Tudor hat when I went into the AD. And we've got this nice black satin finish on this box. Pull this out. They, the foam's a little big. I think Rolex now is doing shorter foam. You may see in a second. Um, but anyway, so here we have the much coveted Black Bay 58. So um, the Black Bay 58 is a watch that I have uh, honestly. I've been doing my vet best to not like it. <laughs> um, I, I want to deny that this is a fantastic watch because I didn't want to have to try and find one. They've been so hard to get, um, especially on the steel bracelet. I have never seen it in my AD's case, never, simply never. I have seen the one on the strap occasionally this is the first time I have ever seen it on the steel bracelet. And for me, the selection between uh, the black with the gilt, uh, you know, gold highlights versus the blue, I think I would normally, like between the two, I would say I would prefer the blue. However, I do have the blue Pelagos and I find that with this having a matte dial and a smaller look, this offers a, a unique um, contrast in my current collection, which does have uh, a current 2021 Rolex Submariner um, with the ceramic dial and the lacquer dial, sorry, lacquer dial and ceramic bezel, which is very flash. This offers a sort of a matte look, um, a classic look. I'm far more, uh, attuned to the size of this watch because um, of my experience of just loving the Explorer 36 millimeter. So I get vibes of the Explorer in this, this being a time only piece, no date, it's wind and wear. And so I've, I've really warmed up to the Black Bay 58. Uh, and as I said, I just kind of didn't want to like it, um, but it's undeniable that this is uh, an incredible watch especially for the money. Now, I don't usually like to put money as like a really important factor. If you did, then maybe you should just stick to not luxury watches and <laughs> save you a lot of money. But for me, I my only real gripe about this, it, it looks incredible. Um, my, my only gripe was that this is basically faux vintage in style. It's, it's a throwback. And for me, my logic for not trying to like this is that if I like vintage style, then why not pick up one of those older Submariners and enjoy the real deal vintage? That being said, this watch is priced at a level that is probably cheaper than a service on such a real vintage uh, Submariner that had like a big crown or something like that. There's, you know, the service cost might exceed the cost of this total watch in, in total. 
And the proposition of wearing a watch that is as delicate as an actual vintage Submariner and as valuable as that, it's, it's not going to be the same wearing experience, quite frankly, Un unless, you know, you're a billionaire and that really doesn't bother you. Um, it would still bother me just from the perspective you're wearing a piece of history on your wrist and not something that you should be just wind and wear and happy go lucky basically. Okay, uh, that's it for the Black Bay 58. Um, we'll put that to the side for a second. Okay, so here we have Oyster on the side. So we know what other brand we like here. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, there we go. So, yep, the other watch is a Rolex. Now, I don't know why. I think this is suspenseful. There's no way in hell I am not, I didn't put a thumbnail that tells you exactly what's in here. <laughs> so sorry for making you endure the Black Bay 58. Ah, here we go. The much coveted 116500LN. Yeah. What can I say? This is the unobtainium. I don't think its history is as good as the Speedmaster, but I do have the Speedmaster, so there's no excuses now to not have one of these. <laughs> now it's between this and the Speedmaster, get the Speedmaster first, but um, if you have a watch collection, um, yeah, eventually you're gonna be coming back to the Panda Man. And I do like the black dial Daytona as well. Um, and pr probably if in isolation, much like the Black Bay 58, in isolation, I'd probably take the blue, but in the context of my watch collection, I've got a blue Pelagos, I would take the Black Bay 58 black. Um, I've already got a Speedmaster, it's in black dial. I don't have any white dials in my collection. And so it had to be this hard, it had to be this watch. What can I say? I, I have been sort of trying to work with my AD for a little while. Um, certainly not an extraordinary amount of time. I, my AD has done an incredible job here in terms of vouching for me and getting me this watch. As I said, I went in today not expecting anything, to be honest. I, I thought I would be asking for a hotter watch to be put considered for the next, uh, you know, however long, it didn't really matter, uh, all the way through next year. And what can I say? Uh, sometimes deals do happen on Boxing Day. <laughs> and um, hey, if my AD happens to be seeing this, uh, thank you so much for vouching for me. And uh, manager there as well, thank you for approving. Uh, it certainly was a very, very pleasant surprise and so happy to get it in before the end of the year. Happy to get it in any time, quite frankly. There's no time we're being offered a panda it is not a good thing. Um, but it's especially sweet uh, being around Christmas time, yes, the day after Christmas, but that's when Australians expect the biggest things on Boxing Day. <laughs> not that I think anyone in the AD knew anything about Boxing Day, but... Um, yeah, what can I say? Now, as one more thing, um, I think they might've been short staffed, but um, you can see here, I've got all the links on. <laughs> so, you know, my AD clearly trusts me um, and I really appreciate that. So the next video you'll see from me is resizing this watch. Um, I mean, what can I say? It, it does take uh, an enormous level of trust um, to be able to do that. I said I, I don't, I don't really mind either way. Really, I would prefer if I could resize it myself. That way, if there's any scratch on the link or something like that, it's mine. I own it, and I did it, as opposed to having someone else. <laughs> um, you know, no longer make it a virgin watch base, basically. Um, it would be mine. So the next video here is going to be me uh, resizing both of these watches. 
So yeah, what can I say? If there's any questions, uh, please ask them down below. If you want one of these, it does take a lot of effort. It doesn't necessarily take an unbelievable amount of time. You know, there is no wait list at Rolex, quote unquote. There is their clients and these are allocation pieces. So um, you have to have a relationship with, you, with your sales associate and figure out what that actually means. And it's going to vary from AD to AD. Some places are going to be harder than others. And there's obviously going to be a whole bunch of luck involved. Um, I mean, one hint, I mean, the Black Bay 58 being available at all is tough in a lot of places and it's certainly tough where I am. The fact that it was available um, and I could buy that today as well is definitely um, a real stroke of luck because I've not seen it in a watch case uh, at that AD ever, actually. I just simply have never seen it. Okay, so again, if you've got any comments, um, please leave them down below. Ultimately, you know, I think that you just need to figure out what it means to have a, a good relationship with your AD, and that means different things at different ADs. Um, but, you know, you're not gonna get one of these watches for free, uh, is what I'm gonna say. It's going to be, this is unlikely, <laughs> to say the least, to be anyone's first purchase and it certainly isn't mine and I gotta say it is extraordinary to be able to do this on the 26th before January 1. My AD did confirm that these things are all going up in price on January 1. Um, exactly how much there's some debate online whether so the Rolex letter was 3.6 percent but they're saying for watches like this like the steel the popular steel stuff it's going to be 10 percent now the, the the daytona is already in the thirteen thousand dollar range retail so another 10 percent um, is a pretty hefty chunk of money uh, considering there's only you know one week left in the year so i'm very pleased to have gotten this today but quite frankly there is zero chance I would have been unhappy if I got it on January 1 and paid the increase as well. <laughs> this is just uh, an absolutely phenomenal purchase, basically. In terms of operation of the watch, um, I've run through the, uh, all, the, all the movements here and it is head and shoulders much, much better than the Speedmaster. I'm sorry, Amiga fans, but this is... At a watch level, a better watch. Historically, I, I would have to say that the Daytona doesn't have a candle to, on the Speedmaster, but um, from, the per, from the perspective of the object itself, just a watch, this thing is incredible. And the movement is so smooth. At first, I, I didn't even realize I was winding it. It was ticking away so quietly. And the pushes, trigger with a much more pleasing snap while I would describe the the Speedmaster as yeah genuinely a snap like it feels like something's really clicking in there it's hard to imagine anything clicking at that level without it there being a lot of wear this thing is smooth very smooth okay uh until next time see you around mm -hmm.